Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I will be showing you a method of driving high power LEDs. Now, in order to drive LEDs, we have a bunch of options, but the options are either you use a switching regulator or a linear regulator. Now, LEDs are current dependent. That means we need to regulate the amount of current flowing through the LED in order to work the led properly so if there is a slight overcurrent in through the led it will definitely destroy the chip so in order to control the current we have either the switching regulator or the linear regulator in this tutorial i have a very simple and easy to find linear regulator that will be used to regulate the current through the led this IC is LM317. This is a linear voltage regulator and it has multiple uses. Among those uses, one of the use is to regulate the current through the circuit. So here I have the data sheet of LM317. This device can output a voltage range adjustable from 1.25 volt to 37 volt. Output current could be up to 1.5 amps so here i have the electrical characteristic of this device so the input to output voltage range could be from 3 volt to 40 volt now here one more important thing to note is the reference voltage so the reference voltage of this device could be between 1.2 volt to 1.3 volt and typically it is 1.25 volts so here is the typical application of precision current limiter circuit. Now in this mode, we want to operate this chip. Of course, this LM317 has a multiple of uses and among those, one of the use is to control the current. So this is our simplified circuit diagram in the data sheet and I will be using the simple circuit only to drive the LED. Now, obviously, we have to use this formula I limit equals to 1.2 upon R1. So, this R1 is actually the variable resistor which is connected to the output and between the adjust pin. Now, this 1.2 actually comes from the reference voltage that we have seen in the previous table. So, for my calculation, I will be using 1.25 because that is the uh, typical value and not 1.2 which is the minimum value so here i have the formula written on a piece of paper to calculate the resistance value now for my application obviously i i will be driving this one watt led so i will be driving this at 300 milliamps so if i put the values in this formula 1.25 upon i limit will be current in amps so it will be 0 0.3 so this actually gives us a resistance of around 4 ohms now i don't have exact 4 ohm resistor so i will be using these three resistors in series so these are 2.2 ohms resistance and there are two 1 ohm resistance so 2.2 plus 1 plus 1 which is approximately 4.2 2 ohms so now at this resistance i will be uh, getting around little less than 300 milliamps so uh, it should be fairly fine to drive this led so now i will make the circuit in a breadboard and then i will come back so here is the schematic of the circuit that i am going to uh, use so if you want to uh, take a screenshot you can pause the video and take a screenshot of this circuit or you can find this in my uh, website in the link below so you can download from my website so here i have made the circuit on the breadboard and i have connected this to my bench power supply of course if you want to take a look into the details of this power supply i have a video on that i will put a card so i have connected this as per the circuit diagram and now i will just turn on the power supply now the power supply is set at 8 volts and 1 amps maximum so uh, this circuit would be enough for the 1 amp and i should not 
uh, get one more than one amp in case there is something goes wrong as for my calculation this uh led should be running at around 280 to 290 milliamps because we are uh, connecting 4.2 ohms of resistance so i will just turn on to see if everything is okay so here we are at 235 milliamps now i assume that is because of the resistance of these wires and the connecting wires as well so uh, because of these the total resistance is a little bit higher than 4.2 ohms now my main focus in this experiment would be to uh, whether this chip can actually regulate the amount of current or not so even after changing the voltage from my power supply i should get the same amount of current flowing through this so i will just change the voltage to uh, 10 volt to see whether there is any change and it is exactly holding the same amount of current as you can see on your screen now i will uh, change the voltage from 10 volt to 15 volt to see if there is any change so now i am at 15 volt but even at that voltage it is exactly holding the same amount of current now as i change the voltage value you can notice one thing that the power also changes although the led is glowing at the same brightness but still the power is increasing as i increase the voltage and the reason for that is because this lm317 is a linear regulator so it is basically dissipating the excess amount of power in the form of heat through the heat sink so it is advisable always to use a heat sink to use this ic now i will uh, increase this voltage to say 25 volts and even at that voltage my led is still working and it's constantly holding the same amount of brightness so i will just reduce the voltage to reduce the power dissipation so here i have reduced the voltage to 8 volts and it is drawing at a moment 1.896 watts now i assume that at 237 milliamps current it is drawing a little below one watt of power so if i consider around 896 milliwatt power is drawn by this led the remaining one watt is actually dissipated by this lm317 so it is fairly inefficient but nevertheless it does our job pretty fine and we can actually use this in our circuit now this ic is very very easy to find you can find almost everywhere in all electronic stores you can find this ic and it's very common the circuit is also very very simple so you can construct it on your own so this is a very short tutorial on driving power leds of course you can change the led to a higher power led maybe 5 watt 10 watt or so and according to the power of the led you have to calculate the current and from the current you have to actually calculate the resistance values and if you use a proper resistance you can drive any leds using this ic so my future plan is to find a switching regulator because this is a linear regulator and it is actually fairly inefficient as you can see it's uh, wasting uh, more than half of the power that is drawn from the power supply so uh, i will try to find a switching regulator and uh, see how the performance is but the problem is finding a switching regulator to drive led is quite tricky and using a microcontroller is uh, fairly impractical just to drive an led so anyway i will uh, find an led driver and in the uh, future video i will be making a video on driving led using switching regulator so thank you very much for watching if you find this video helpful you can uh, subscribe to my channel for future videos i will uh, make more videos on these type of similar topics if you have any suggestion of any topic that i can make videos you can obviously comment in the comment section and of course don't forget to like the video that actually appreciates my work so thank you very much for joining. Have a nice day.